Hello everyone, welcome. My name is Sam Reen. Hope you're all having a fantastic day. Today we're going to be talking about a great F1 driver in Felipe Massa, who has recently retired from F1. Well, he hasn't retired yet, but at the end of this season, he will retire. Which is a shame, because I always remembered him just at fingertips at that 2008 World Ch title and just gr just Lewis Hamilton, his second season, last corner of Brazil, just snatched it away from him. And uh, ever since, he has been a great character through the F1 paddock and all around the F1 crew. And he has been a really good part of the F1 family, to be fair. And it's going to be a real shame to see him go after all these years with F1. And I reckon... His age at the moment is the right age for, you know, retiring. And soon a season or two, depending on who replaces him at Williams after this season, if it is better, he'll be doing the same as Massa, in a, but in a few more years. In case, I reckon he's got two more years, I reckon. I'm not sure on anything else. But, uh, yeah, if it's Nasa, it'd be... It'd be like an open arms thing because obviously Massa is Brazilian and obviously no one can replace Massa in terms of his greatness in F1, his, his achievement in F1 and yeah, it's going to be amazing for him to move on from F1 because he he is he has been at Williams for a number of seasons now and he ain't ever been as great as he was when he was at Ferrari with his teammates being Michael Schumacher and Kimi Räikkönen. So that's it really for me and I uh, hope you're all enjoying this little video just to say that Massa has retired at the end of the season and uh, yeah it's going to be really shocking to miss a true F1 character in F1 this sport and it's going to be a real empty hole to hopefully it'll be filled by Williams. So that's me, I'm Sam Reen and I'm signing out. Thank you for listening and I hope to see you next time. Thank you again. Bye.